But I just want every woman, every black woman, to love herself, accept who she is. And if she wants to be an artist, be that. But learn to love herself, uh, love your hair, love your body, love you. And then you can become whatever it is that you want to. But you gotta love yourself first. Yes, yes, yes. yes Can't spend yes. all your money on hair and makeup. I still got my white eyebrows. I mean, these things up here, I ain't gonna die them. <laughs> but just be you. Um, next question, um, Rosemary. So what, what are three unique skills that help you in your journey as an artist? I think one main thing is being patient and okay. taking my time to do things right. Okay. So that's the number one thing. The other one is just like sticking to it, not giving up, being motivated by what the end results. I always say I enjoy the process. And once I see what I've created, that motivates me to to be alive. It makes me feel alive and worthy of something. Okay. Okay. Now, is there any specific processes that you take? Mm, like I said, the only thing that I do, oh, the process I would take, is just being open and willing to learn. Okay. And... That's kind of hard for me to put into words, but I, I one thing like my granddaughter said to me, she said, Grandma, I want to have the same relationship with Jehovah that you have. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and this is like in the last six months, you know, that we've started, not even that long, but I know that people want to be happy. They want to be free. And I am, I always said, if I died tomorrow, I would die old and satisfied. You say that about yourself? Yeah. I, really? And the reason, like I said, the frame, my frame of reference is the Bible. Okay. So, and I, when I became a Jehovah's Witness, it was because the lady told me that I could be friends with God as Abraham was. And I, of course, I didn't believe that, but that has been my motiv motivating force since I was 20 years old and getting to know God and for me to just have anyone to look at me and see that she's satisfied mm -hmm. or I want to be like you spiritually. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't just sell art. I sell faith, F-A-I-T-H. Okay. That's what I sell. And I, so many people have, we've talked as a matter of fact, this one friend of mine is called today, and she told me that I introduced her to Jehovah uh, 55, 56 years ago. And so there are people that I want to have an impact on their lives. Not I don't want the glory, but I want the point where that I'm doing this. I am who I am because of God, and you too can find this peace. Mm -hmm. Enjoy that I have. Okay, all right. That's 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 nice. That's mm -hmm. nice. So um, next next question. Um, can you tell <coughs> tell us uh, one thing about yourself that most individuals don't know about you? I got a big mouth, so they <laughs> <laughs> they know a whole lot about me. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess the one thing that they don't know. I mean, I I'm really weak. I, I don't feel powerful, and I don't like, I'm a people pleaser, but the art has changed all of that, but that has been my life, okay. feeling not good enough, so that's the one thing about me, I'm not, I'm not that smart, I don't know how to cook, I don't know how to drive, but these are things that people know, but I guess the main thing 
is that they don't know how weak I am. Now, with that, would you say your art gives you the strength that you you you, you have to, to go on and on and be inspired in life? Uh, yes, but as I said before, Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing open for all of your art needs. Located at 4233 West Fond du Lac Avenue, open Mondays through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now featuring African American and contemporary artwork for local, national, and international artists. Your local shop for masks and statuettes, mud cloths, royal cloths, and salt lamps. Call 414 444 5166 or follow their Facebook, Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing, 4233 West Fond du Lac Avenue. My frame of reference is the, is the Bible. So from that, there's a scripture that says God is given dynamic energy to the weak. So my energy, my force that keeps me going is based on Bible principles. And it is that God, for the weak, he's making powerful. He's given dynamic energy. So that's actually like when I think about my age, I'm saying, you know, I, the Bible say you 70 or 80 years mm -hmm. if you have special might. So I'm 80. So then I must have special might. There you go. So, yeah, and I want to live at least another 10, 15 years. But I, I don't want to just live in a wheelchair not doing anything. Mm -hmm. I really want to live for uh, at least another 10 years. Even though I believe that we're living in the last days. And uh, soon Jesus will come and take power. The governments we have today, they won't be anymore. That's the message that I share with people from my religion. But then there are other things I share. Sometimes just calling someone, those are parts of me. I really want to help people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, what would you, what, what type of advice would you give a, a young um African-American woman, um, a young African-American artist that um, is, is looking to get into art and maybe have dealt with some of the things that you've dealt with in society. Right. What, 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 would you, what type of advice would you give her? I mean, it's probably not what no one would expect, but I just want every woman, every black woman, to love herself, accept who she is. And if she wants to be an artist, be that. But learn to love herself. Uh, love your hair. Love your body. Love you. And then you can become whatever it is that you want to. But you got to love yourself first. Yes, yes, yes. yes Can't spend is. all your money on hair and makeup. I still got my white eyebrows. I mean, these things up here, I ain't going to die. Em. But just be you. Right. Because there's, I got a one picture uh, drawn. It's like the freak that I am. And one thing I learned that all of those years, the problems I had was because I was not letting people see who I am. So when you're going around being, you know, trying to be something you're not, mm -hmm. you're just a freak. And nobody likes freaks. Mm. So if, you, if you're this person, if you're an artist, be the best. If you're going to be a hairdresser, be the best. Because that's you do what you are. And then you're going to be happy. The Artist Connection podcast was generated from many conversations with local artists around the lack of opportunity to showcase their talent. Here at Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing, we recognize our local talent and strive to connect artists with the community. Please enjoy this opportunity to hear from local artists and learn more about what inspires their work. Gallery and Framing specializes in custom framing, printing on canvas, and selling contemporary and African-American art, all housed in our 3,000 square foot art gallery. We are centrally located in Milwaukee, 
at 4233 West Fond du Lac Avenue. We recognize local artists and strive to connect local talent with the community. We're asking for your support. Contact us to find out how you can help sponsor the work we're doing to highlight local artists in our community.